guys, so I was totally expecting not to make this video, so please excuse the lack of makeup and the messy background. My bed is unmade and stuff we were just laying down. But yeah, today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of my Bellamy Ombre extensions, which I'm so excited to show you guys. I haven't opened like the actual extensions. I opened the tester though, just to make sure that it was the perfect shade because, or not the perfect shade, or if it was like kind of close to the perfect shade because I don't wanna just get them and open them and be like, oh, well, they're the wrong color. So I obviously wanna know at least that, but today I'm gonna be opening them with you and I'm so excited. So they came in a brown box like this and it just has my information on the top so I'm not gonna show you that. And this is what it looks like. It's black and pink. It's really, really cute and adorable. And these are the Guy Tang Balayage Extensions and they are in the color 860. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, I'm so excited. So you get the box and then you go ahead and just open it like this and they also give you a little brush to go with it i thought it was going to be pink but it's actually gold but you know that's fine and so that is what it looks like on the inside so you have your extensions right here and then your brush i don't know if y'all can see that so yeah so this is the brush it comes with i haven't opened this yet and it's just a gold kind of brush like that to comb out your extensions with so I'm really excited about this. I might even use it on my real hair because my real hair is pretty tangled and sorry. Okay, so this is what the extensions look like and I got them in the color 860 like I said and they're called the Bellamy Balayage by Guy Tang 160 gram 20 inch in the color 860. And the reason I got the 20 inch instead of the 22 inch was because if I got 22 inch, it would be too long for me and too kind of like I feel like you can notice when they're really, really long, so I didn't want it to look too noticeable. So I just went ahead and got the 20 inch instead. Hopefully it's not too thin at the bottoms and stuff like that. That's what I was scared about. I was scared that it's gonna be really thin since it is like less grams. I think the other one had way more grams, but this is 160 grams and it's a 20 inch. So let's go ahead and open this baby. So down here you have a little package thing and it's raining, I'm so sorry. You have a little package thing right here and it says tester and you go ahead and open that. And this is the only part I have opened and it comes with a little hair net and your little tester inside which is a two clip, um, just a two clip strand of hair. This is what it looks like. When I open this, I combed through it with my hands and hair came out. So hopefully the extensions don't do that. But yeah, this is just a tester and it looks like that. See, it has that brown and then fades to blonde at the end. And then you use this as your tester. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys. Just have my hair in a bun and it's pretty curly. So that's why I wanted this color. So I'm just gonna clip them, clip this tester in right here. And they're straight and my hair is like wavy, but that is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all could tell. And then I just take my hair down. And then that is what it looks like. Oh, let me zoom y'all out. So the extension is right here and then my regular hair. And so like if I blend it in a little bit, kind of separate it, it looks like it will be a pretty decent match. It says warning void if removed. So basically you have this thing on the back and if you open it, they could tell and you're not allowed to return them after you open this part. So that's why I'm really scared to open it, but I really want to and I really wanted this color and I think it matches good enough. What do y'all think? I don't know. Please excuse the nappy hair while we open the rest. I'm so scared guys, I'm so scared close this box. I'm gonna keep the box so I can put them back in there. So time to open the real package. I'm scared. <laughs> and then they come in the bag like this. And they come in a hairnet as well. And this is what they look like. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm gonna open these. 
Oh my god, guys. They feel thick. That's what they look like. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do they match, guys? You think? Yeah? Maybe? No? I'm so excited. Oh my god, they're so blonde at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you what it comes with. I don't want to get them tangled. So here is a four clip weft. And as you can see, the blonde is not like a straight line. It's pretty mixed up. There's like longer brown part and then blonde and then this blonde comes up higher. So it looks kind of like highlighted. So there's your four clipped weft. Another four clipped weft. This one looks like that. They feel really soft and they're not tangled at all. I had the ones before this, the only extensions I had were ones from Sally's Beauty Supply and I actually looked up the grams and they were like 60 grams. Like I, before I bought these, I was like, I wanna make sure they're kind of thicker and they're 60 grams and these are 160. So they're pretty thick compared to those. And the ones at Sally's I believe are a hundred and something dollars and they're not ombre. So these are, I didn't even mention that. The price that I paid for these were, let me go ahead and check. Okay, so I paid $247.49, including shipping and also taxes and everything. So, but anyways, comes with another four clip. That's what that one looks like. And they're like fade into a light, like it's a light brown and they fade into a blonde, like a bleach blonde color. Now we have a three clipped weft. That's what that one looks like. This one's like more highlighted. And right there, you can see that kind of line that the ombre starts, but I'm pretty sure it blends with your hair. Then we have another three clip. Oh, I dropped them. And that's what that one looks like. That one's mainly on the tips. See, that's what I was scared of. My tester one is mainly on the tips too. So hopefully they're not all like that, but like hopefully they all blend pretty good. And then you get these two, or actually, this one is just a two clip weft. So you get one of these and then you get one, two, three, four, one clipped wefts. And they just look like that. Just one of those. So you get four of those actually. I don't ever use these, but maybe they'll come in handy just in case I'm doing like a really crazy hair tutorial or something like that. I might need that. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead what they look like all together. I'm so excited to try these on. I can't believe I opened them, guys. Oh, I can't take them back now. I hope they match. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these babies on and I'll be back to show you how they look. It might look weird though, because these are straight and my hair is like really like out of a bun, crazy curly, but we're gonna do it anyway because I'm really excited to try them on. So I'll be right back when I have these on. Hey guys, so I went ahead and clipped them all in and you could obviously tell where my hair is because it's all frizzy and curly, but the extensions are pretty thin at the bottom and I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to like cut a little bit of them just to make it not so thin because my um, real hair, as you can see, is like very choppy, like the way it's cut. But I think if I curl it, maybe it'll look better. And I did open the little brush it came with. And it's actually not real brush like hairs. They're kind of bendable. I guess so they don't pull out your extension hair. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I got the gold one. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and show you all the back. I have no idea what the back looks like with extensions. So I don't know if y'all could see. But this is what it, they look like from the back. I don't know if they're blending. But from what I could feel, they look like they are. It's actually a different day from the previous clips. The reason I wanted to go ahead and throw this in at the end is to show you what they look like um, with it fixed up and blended with my hair. Because when I did put them on earlier in the clips, I just threw them all at the bottom and it looked really uneven and not blended. So I really wanted to show y'all guys what it would look like if I actually like fixed it up. So this is what it looks like so far. Like the color still matches pretty good. And I actually tried to cut them and I was just going to cut them to blend in with my hair because they do look thinner at the ends. And I cut one little piece off, like a little chunk, and I chickened out and I stopped cutting them because I did not want to mess these up. They're almost $300, so I did not want to like 
put all that money to waste by messing them up by cutting. Um, so I ended up curling them and stuff anyways and seeing what they would look like without them being cut. And I actually like the way they look. I think they blend pretty good now. So I don't think I need to cut them anymore. Um, maybe later on when they start getting drier, I'll cut the ends just a little bit. But other than that, I think I'm just going to keep them like this because they blend pretty nicely with my hair. And so yeah, I just wanted to show y'all guys what they look like with it. my hair actually fixed. And they still look pretty thin at the bottoms. I don't know if y'all could tell. They're really thin at the bottoms, which um, is kind of expected with extensions. But I know in some people's um, reviews of these extensions, they say they're thick all the way from the top to the bottom. And that's total false. Like mine are really thin at the bottom. And I don't know if it has to do with the 160 grams because most people do get the 220 grams just so they'll be a little bit thicker. But I did not want them because they would be way longer. Like these come all the way to right here, like to the mid of my stomach. And if I got the 22 inches, they would have to be like really long. And um, I did not want to have to cut them, like I said at the beginning. So I just went with these. And I mean, they're still a pretty thick when you brush them out. They're really like poofy like after I curled them they weren't as silky anymore they were pretty like fuzzy and that's another thing I wanted to show y'all guys like if you take one strand of the extension they're not just full on one length like if you look closely I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to tell but it has like little cuts everywhere like little choppy hairs and it makes them actually kind of really frizzy so you got to keep that in mind I actually got some oil yesterday to um, put in them just so it could take away some of the frizziness and then I also put in my hair so that's what the shine is like coming from from this and because the extensions are still pretty shiny because they're pretty new still but yeah I just wanted to tell y'all those couple of things and show y'all what it looks like so overall I really think these are worth it and they're really good extensions hopefully they'll last long um the first time I did brush them they did have quite a bit of fallout and when I curled them, they had quite a bit of fallout. But then other than that, when I style them and brush them and put it back in the box and everything, they haven't really had fallout. So it was only that one time. It was only that one time where I styled them and when I combed them out, those were the only times that I had fallout. Other than that, nothing has fallen out and they look pretty good. Um, I did cut a piece from this side. I have no idea where it was because it kind of blended in anyway. I was just gonna kind of do it with my little razor, but yeah. So this is what they look like. I hope that y'all enjoyed this unboxing. If you do like these kinds of videos, make sure to thumbs up this video so I can know to keep doing unboxing for you guys. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I make videos every three to four days. So I have lots of videos up for you guys. And until next time, guys, bye.